ENC Sports Now, presented by Budweiser. Hey, good evening. Middle of the week edition of PNC Sports Now. I'm Blake Watson. An upset in the Bud Light Women's Soccer League, that in just a minute. But speaking of upsets, the JFK Islanders have yet to be beaten at home this season. They hosted the Ukudu High Bulldogs, who are trying to break that streak and also have won four of their last five. Here's more. Islanders, Bulldogs, JFK win the tip and they go right to work. Does well to set up the offense here. He'll have some space, does well to draw the double team. He dishes out to a waiting Ricky Pack. Good for the pull-up jumper is number three. JFK again trying to get some points, but the Bulldogs defense too much. The play disrupted, broken up, and it's stolen by Vern Gastillo. Hey, he's internet famous, and he's good for the breakaway layup here. Ukudu on the board with two points. The fast-paced Islanders offense, though, answers back with speed. From the outside, he has Ricky Pack in the paint. Pack dishes it to a waiting number 33. Wayne Jesus there to finish out with the easy bucket. Count two for the Islanders. Ukudu not doing themselves any favors. Missed shot. The rebound pulled down by the green and gold. That'll send it to Ricky Pack at the other end. A nice touch pass here to Chris Connor, who does well to make the shot. Wide open is Connor JFK rolling at this point. Nice bucket. Bulldogs looking for some positivity. Get the rebound. It's Austin Muggsy Bloss. He passes it down low. Nice play. Nice alley oop for the layup. Two points for the Bulldogs. It would stop there, however, for Ukudu despite a late game rally. JFK withstand and hang on to remain unbeaten on their home court. 75 to 69. The final from Tamuni. And rolling on with sports, we kick it to soccer. Week five matches of the Bud Light Women's Soccer League spring season played on at GFA's National Training Center. It was Shipyard feeling good. They're sitting in the middle of the pack heading into the second half of the season. The Lady Strikers are still looking for their first win and they were hungry to get it. Here are the highlights. A 500 Guam Shipyard team challenging the Lady Strikers who are 0-3 with one tie and hoping to get in the win column any way they can. Lady Strikers needing early points and trying their hardest to get them. They have a chance here in Shipyard territory. She does well to find the open shooter, gets the pack pass. Nice to set up the cross, but she misfires wide. Out of bounds, blue ball. Shipyard with a chance here. She has the ball and some space to work. Nice through pass to the wing. She'll try to set up the cross. It's broken up, sent back to the top of the box. Shipyard trying desperately to win it here, but the Lady Striker defense battling hard as well. It's good enough to clear the danger. Nice D from the red and white. Holes in the Striker defense, though. It will allow Shipyard to have a chance in this one. She challenges the keeper. Nice save in goal by the Strikers, though. This was a hard-fought battle throughout. Both teams evenly matched. It got rough out there. The blue and gold, though, getting a gift. Free kick in front of the net. She shoots, has a chance. Clutch save by the goalie. Finally, though, Shipyard Persistence pays off. They get a little roller into the back of the net. Goal, Shipyard. One to nothing. Time will run out on the Lady Strikers, and the shots just aren't there for them. Shipyard will squeak by with a one to nothing victory. They improved to two and two on the season. Well, that will wrap up PNC Sports Now for your Wednesday evening. Thanks for joining us. In the meantime, check us out, pacificnewscenter.com slash sports. Until tomorrow night, I'll see you at the game. PNC Sports Now, presented by Budweiser.